Here at the Film Look, we love motivated camera moves. They look great, they are fun to pull off, and they connect the cinematography to the story. This is why today we're talking about a motivated camera move we like to call the action hero entrance. It's probably the most badass way to introduce a character on screen, but it's also much more than that. Let me show you why this simple move is one of the best ways to introduce your character in your film. Welcome to the Film Look. Showtime. The camera move itself is actually quite simple. It begins on the floor as the subject arrives in their car. As they exit the car, the camera slowly pedestals up until it finishes on a medium close-up on the subject's face. They deliver their line, then exit the frame. This shot doesn't need to involve a car or any lines of dialogue as there are many different variations of the action hero entrance. We just thought we would go really cheesy action movie intro. What's so special about this camera move is actually how much information it delivers without ever needing to cut to another shot. At first we have a wide establishing shot of the scene. In this case it is clearly a back alley. And we've all seen enough films to know a back alley is a sketchy place to be. This sets the scene. A car rolls in, but what type of car is it? If it was a Lamborghini, you'd guess the character was a bit of a playboy. This car is a little bit more modest. The character steps out and we see a glimpse of their costume, their footwear. In this case, we have a pair of black boots. They mean business. If you replace the boots with flip-flops, it would be a completely different story. Then we get a little character detail, a cigarette thrown on the ground. Why is the character smoking? Maybe to calm their nerves. But they also discard it, so whatever they plan on doing next, they need to be 100% focused. Then we've got a gun and a vest, police. We reveal their face, a young cop, Detective Rusty Johnson, and he looks nervous. So with a single 20 second shot performing a very simple pedestal from feet to face, we give the audience an entire character bio without having to resort to any expositional dialogue, on the nose cutaways or title cards. With this shot, we can give the audience just enough information about the character and the scene to want to know more. But what if we change a couple of details? Let's make the location sunny this time. We can change the costume a little bit and alter the character's attitude. We can keep the main beats of the scene and keep the dialogue. Let's see just how this changes the audience's perspective of the character. Showtime. We've transformed the scene from something like True Detective to something more like Narcos, just by reworking a few things in the frame. And this is why this camera move is so powerful. It captures an intriguing character on screen, it grasps the audience's attention, and sets up their expectations. This shot literally looks the character up and down. The equipment in this shot we feel is quite important. You can do this shot handheld, but something smooth and steady will raise the production value and won't distract the audience from what is happening on screen. We shot both of these scenes with a Sony A7S Mark I with a Takuma 35mm Vintage Prime. The camera was rigged up on a Zion Crane 2 with a set of spring action handle grips from Digital Photo. We will be reviewing these very soon, so if you haven't already, get subscribed. And you can find our review of the Sony A7S and Takuma 35 in the description below. If you're interested in more motivated camera moves, we have a bunch on the channel, most of which we found from this book called Master Shots by Christopher Kenworthy. It's a great book for figuring out what types of shots you can implement for moments in your film. I've put a link to this book in the description below. Every purchase on Amazon, we get a small kickback, so if you want to support the channel, you can go ahead and do that. And remember to achieve it one shot at a time.